Whether you keep yours under the sink, in the pantry, or out in the ground. And that bag of plastic bags could turn into a bench like this if the city of Rhinelander is able to come up with 500 pounds of plastic by September 1st. Food storage bags, um, plastic grocery bags, cereal bag liners, pellet bags, ice bags, anything that you can stretch a little bit. So like if you push your thumb into it and it moves and doesn't snap, that can be brought in. Emily Pop partnered with Trex, who uses the recycled plastic to make their product. So we combine recycled materials like plastic grocery bags and scrap wood to create the first generation of composite decking. All people have to do is bring their bags in, put them in one of these bins. Mel's Trading Post in Rhinelander is the only collection site so far. The Chamber of Commerce and Tractor Supply will have them as well. We just have to have them shipped in. Pop says they're all in, whether they win the bench or not. It's just a little bit of incentive for us. Um, like I said, it's a great thing to be doing either way. They've already collected nearly 100 pounds in four days. We ourselves started collecting a little bit early because if we can keep all that out of the landfill, we're going to. And we have a few bags already, so I'm super excited that we're on top of the game. In Rhinelander, Cooper Henkel, Newswatch 12.